Let's review the arteries below the diaphragm for this video, but before we do that, let's reorient ourselves uh, with structures uh, so we can figure out where we are. So we'll start at the uh, cephal cephalod end of the cat at the head. Here's the heart. Here are the lungs. Here's the diaphragm. Underneath the diaphragm, towards the right side, is the liver. There's the gallbladder. Here is the stomach, laid out just like a bag. On the left side of the stomach is the cat's large spleen. Underneath the stomach and the spleen are the intestines. The mesentery of the intestines are the bag that is holding the intestines and bringing blood. So this uh, clear, clear looking membrane is the uh, mesentery. Let's move that out of the way. Here is the kidney, the left kidney. So now let's begin by looking at the first blood supply under the diaphragm. Here is the abdominal aorta of the cat. The first trunk or branch is the celiac artery, celiac artery. And we have three branches that we need to find. We need to find a uh, hepatic artery, we need to find a gastric artery, and we need to find a splenic artery. We can see these in order if we look first at the one we can see the best. We can trace this up and I go right to the spleen. So these are the splenic arteries going to the spleen. If the artery goes to the organ, call it that artery. So here are the splenic arteries going right to the spleen. Here's an artery, a branch, going to the underside of the stomach. This is a gastric artery, gastric artery. There's another gastric artery here. Down at the base, closest to the celiac trunk, is the hepatic artery pointing to the liver. The liver is on the right side of the body, and think about it as the hepatic artery points to the right side of the body. It is the very first, uh, first branch off of the celiac trunk. So again, this is the hepatic artery. Here is a gastric artery going to the base of the stomach. Here are splenic arteries going directly to the spleen. Okay, let's go back down to the celiac trunk and go to the abdominal aorta again. We'll move further uh, inferiorly. The next branch uh, after the celiac trunk is the superior mesenteric artery. Superior mesenteric artery going to the mesentery of the intestines. Okay. The next branch we need to look at is the one coming from the kidney. When you're trying to locate this branch, just find the kidney and trace the kidney back to the abdominal aorta. You will find the renal artery by doing that. So here's the renal artery going to the kidney. We need to find a gonadal artery. This is a female cat, and so we could find the uterus and fallopian tube and then the ovary and find the artery that points to it. There it is. This is a gonadal artery, or because this is a female, we would call it the ovarian artery. This is the left ovarian artery. Okay, we'll keep going. More inferiorly, our final stop for the intestines is the inferior mesenteric artery. So here you have the inferior mesenteric artery, and again, here's the superior mesenteric artery, both of them supplying the mesentery of the intestines, the inferior mesenteric artery. A little bit further down, we have the iliolumbar artery. This is the left iliolumbar artery. Remember the iliac crest of the hip goes around um, the pelvis and this artery is named for that crest, the iliolumbar artery. Further down, a little further, we have the external iliac artery. This is the left 
external iliac artery. And then just below it, we have the left internal iliac artery. The left internal iliac artery. And right in the center, which would be the sacrum in humans, as it is in the cat, let me grab that up, we have the caudal, caudal means tail, so we have the caudal artery going in the exact same direction as the tail. Okay, let's keep going down as we move past the inguinal region. The last artery we need to identify in the leg proper is the femoral artery. This is uh, the left femoral artery coming off of the left external iliac artery. So the left external iliac artery continues down through the inguinal region and turns into the left femoral artery, which continues on down to the knee.